Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today doing the, continuing my 2021 year end top tens and this is gonna be on my number 10 super welterweight at 154 pounds or junior middleweight, whatever you wanna call them at 154 and that is former WBO champion Patrick Teixeira. Teixeira entered the year number eight so he drops two spots. He was the WBO champion coming into the year but he was facing a mandatory challenger in the undefeated Brian Castaño and everybody knew it was going to be a good fight there was uh some people picking Teixeira but most people I feel like myself are picking Castaño but everybody was expecting a really good battle and to be honest it it, it was action-packed but it was not competitive in terms of points as Brian Castaño just ate up Patrick Teixeira he did he, he, he beat him to the punch consistently got on the inside outworked them outwork outclassed them you know Teixeira showed heart landed some good shots but just could not keep up with the work rate that Castaño had and he lost a clean unanimous decision and lost his WBO championship with that but um later in the year a couple good things well a couple things happened he was he was supposed to fight uh, Mer, uh was it Magomed Kurbanov the undefeated Russian contender. He's supposed to fight him in Russia, but uh, Karbanov had to pull out with an injury or with a fever or some sorts the day of the fight. And right now they're talking about the fight being rescheduled for February. But the other piece of news that helped him keep a top 10 spot was Carlos Adama has moved up to middleweight and defeated Sergei Derevchenko. And if you guys remember, in um, November of 2019, Teixeira defeated uh Adamas to capture the WBO interim title at 154 and then was upgraded to full champion about a week or two later at the convention um, when uh, I think whatever champion was at 154 decided to move up and wait. So, you know, uh, I think that was Jaime Minguia. So Teixeira, you know, the fact that he has a win over a top 10 middleweight and you know he stood his ground and he's still in the mix i think that speaks for good things let's look at his stats real quick again he was number eight last year he drops two spots to number 10 31 years old and this guy not a lot of tough tread on his tires he's lost a couple fights but he hasn't been in a lot of wars so i think Teixeira um really is on the younger side of 31 years old overall he's 31 and 2 22 knockouts so he still has that power he's southpaw and right now he's the WBO's number four contender. So, you know, I can see Teixeira a win over um, Kurbanov puts him right there uh, to fight possibly for the vacant title. See, that's the big thing here is you already have Tim Zhu as a number one contender right now. Whoever wins between Castaño and Charlo when they fight for Undisputed, I don't think either one of them, because they're both PBC guys, I don't see either one of them trying to fight, um, trying to fight, uh, uh, Tim Zhu in their next fight. I think they're going to stick to the PBC fighters. And then once that happens, that belt probably goes vacant and Tim Zhu probably fights the winner of Teixeira and um, Kurbanov. So if Teixeira can defeat him, he's looking at another title shot and, um, you know, and you never know what could happen then. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in this situation, um, in this scenario for Patrick Teixeira. I think he has a solid shot of defeating um, uh, Magomed Kurbanov. And um, I would even pick him probably to win that fight because Kurbanov hasn't been in there with somebody like Teixeira. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But Patrick Teixeira definitely uh, took had a setback in 2021. But he's, he's already right back in the mix to jump back into things in 2022. So we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got for my for my number 10 super welterweight in the world right now at 154 pounds. The former WBO champion, Patrick Teixeira. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.